This is the William B. Ruger Gallery of the National Firearms Museum. It is our changing or temporary exhibit gallery. Ever since the museum's reopening in 1998, we've been very fortunate to bring the viewing public a number of different exhibits that we've put on display here for about a year or a year and a half at a time. Literally, this offers the visitor a once in a lifetime opportunity to see some of the most fantastic firearms in private hands. This year we have an exhibit called Guns West. The West the way it was, the way it is, the way it could have been. First part of the exhibit we look at the true guns of the Old West. A number of firearms including John Wesley Hardin's Colt 1851 Navy revolver, a number of guns attributed to Jesse James. A lot of Texas Ranger guns including one that was carried by Frank Hamer one of the most famous Texas Rangers of all time, for it was Frank Hamer who led the posse that gunned down Bonnie and Clyde in Louisiana in May of 1934. In the section called The Way It Is, we're looking at the firearms of the modern cowboy action shooting phenomenon. Over 100,000 new shooters into the hobby in just a period of about 15 years. Bob Munden, one of the fastest guns alive, his gold-plated single-action Colt revolvers are on display, along with some of the coins he used to shoot out of the air with those very guns. In the era we call the way it could have been, we look at movie guns, guns that were famous on the big screen and on the little screens. We were kids growing up. For many of us, it was our first exposure to the history of the Old West. Among the many firearms in this segment of the gallery, or John Wayne's 1892 Winchester Saddle Ring Carbine, the one he used in John Ford's 1939 classic Stagecoach. The 1990 film Quigley Down Under is highlighted by Tom Selleck's Quigley Sharps rifle that he personally donated to the museum. And it stands not very far away from a flintlock that former NRA President Charlton Heston used in the 1980 classic The Mountain. All of these guns are on display, but for just a limited time only. For the next time you visit, there'll be something new and spectacular in the William B. Ruger Gallery of the National Firearms Museum.